Two-thirds of the nation struggle with flood-producing rain and drought conditions in the West have eased. California is still dry. dry. The entire state remains in some form of drought, with nearly 90 percent in a severe drought. Ben Tracy joined airborne researchers who use cutting-edge technology to put a number on what drought has done to California's forests. We took off from an airfield near Sacramento. Minutes later, we saw this. Reservoirs at record lows and forests dying after four years of drought. There's a lot of red on this screen, which is a sign that we're over an area that's, uh, that's in trouble. Greg Asner is the director of the Carnegie Airborne Observatory. His flying lab is equipped with high-tech lasers that scan 15 acres of forest every second. It's like having X-ray vision that produces vivid images of the health of every single tree. Our systems are seeing beyond the dead trees, is seeing the trees that are stressed. The cutting-edge technology, funded in part by Avatar director James Cameron, creates one-of-a-kind 3D maps of the forest throughout the entire state. The red areas on this map are severely drought-stressed. Blue areas are healthier. Your equipment reads how much moisture is in each individual tree? Yeah, the, the measurement is focused on how much water is in the foliage itself. It's like getting a blood test. It's really one of the key indicators of the health of a tree. And the data released just this week by Asner's team shows California's forests are in very bad shape. 58 million trees are severely drought stressed and could die. An astounding 888 million have seen measurable water loss since the drought began in 2011. So you're basically saying the drought has impacted nearly 1 billion trees in California. That's correct. The U.S. Forest Service says more than 29 million trees have already died. Here's your trees that have uh, totally succumbed. These maps will help the Forest Service know which areas are most vulnerable and wildfire officials to know where the greatest risks are. These severely stressed trees, are they past the point of no return or are they recoverable? We don't know whether a stressed tree is going to absolutely succumb and be gone or if it's going to bounce back over time. El Nino-fueled winter storms are expected to bring much-needed rain. These scientists are hoping that will finally turn the Golden State a bit more green. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Ben Tracy, Sacramento. That's just, that technology is just amazing, what they can do. It's interesting, too, that James Cameron played such a role in that. I mean, mm -hmm. it's great to see technology used like that. Like that.